Hi, I'm Brian from sunny Oregon, and this is my theater. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, Tony here and in today's video I'm going to share an incredible home theatre with you from the Pacific Northwest in the United States that belongs to Brian and his family. This build is a special one as Brian has been a member of my YouTube channel and Discord community from before he started the build and he's been sharing the progress of the room on the channel. So if you'd like to join a community of like-minded home theatre enthusiasts, I have links to my Discord down in the description where you can join in the fun. Before I get into the video I wanted to say it's been a pleasure to get to know Brian and I want to thank him for working with me to get this video made including the chats the video walkthrough so that we could discuss the making of this video I love the attention to detail and all of the little design elements in the room and the foyer things that I rarely see in a home theater build so sit back relax as I take you through Brian's home theater so stay tuned So Brian's build journey began a couple of years ago when designing the build for his new home and as a designer had direct input into pretty much everything. After watching many YouTube videos he decided to create an unused space above the living room to have his home theater. Before we get into the theater we have a beautiful transition for a space he designed for his wife into a mid-century modern lobby which leads into the theater. The lobby is one of my favorite elements with a bar to the left of the entry which has a collection of confirmed confectionery inside a custom made cabinet with lighting, tile backsplash and a collection of adult beverages. Moving toward the entry of the theatre we have a custom wood slat panel which has a recessed light switch with a frame for the panels planned ahead of time and he has the Govi lights built in to enhance the look and feel. There is a screening room sign which Brian designed and made himself which is really nice touch. The wall facing the bar is also decorated in a custom peel and stick wallpaper which Brian got off Etsy to give that real mid-century modern vibe and a custom light box which was also custom designed and made. Brian also added automated blackout shades to control every aspect of the lighting. It really feels like you're leaving the world's stresses and noise behind you. Even the door has a thumbprint lock so he can keep the room secure. And it also has a soft close mechanism at the top so that when his kids come in and out, the door doesn't slam and is super quiet. What a cool way to enter your theater room. Moving into the room we have an incredible looking space and as mentioned the room dimensions were done prior to the build so that Brian could account for the two rows of seats and also has the best dimensions for his speaker configuration and viewing angle. The dimensions are 12 feet wide by 18 foot long and 8 feet high with two rows of seating and the custom 14 inch riser was built by Brian with the exact specifications to become a base trap with vents at the rear and the front of the riser to help with the absorption of the base as it likes to collect in the corners. There are two long step ups to the rear row so it's nice and comfortable to get to your seat with plenty of room to stretch out. The opening at the front was specially built to house the Valencia Tuscany recliners. Valencia Tuscany are a personal personal favorite of mine and Brian has two sets of three connected together which add to the luxury and comfort of the experience. Brian's seats are often filled with his family and friends who enjoy coming over to watch a movie in an experience to rival the movie theater. I'll have links to these seats down in the description if you'd like to get a set for yourself. Brian also has added some base transducers to the seats to add that extra dose of tactile feedback. Moving around the room we have a decorative crown molding which is recessed to allow for the Govi lights to throw some ambient light around the perimeter and also have a number of wall lights, 
can lights, all of which have Govi smart bulbs in them. Again, I'll have links to them down in the description. Another gem and a nod to the Discord community, there is a Nest temperature sensor in the room, which triggers the air conditioner. And there is a modern ceiling vent to let the cool air into the room. The ceiling was handcrafted with a knockdown texture, while the walls have an orange peel texture, finished in a charcoal color, which is Sherwin Williams Thunder Gray in eggshell sheen. There is also an attractive vertical shiplap at the back wall, which adds to the classy feel of the theater. An additional layer of drywall and an air gap was added to the back of the room to provide the sound absorption as the theater shares a wall with his daughter's room. One of the biggest ticket items in the room was the carpet. Brian and his wife loved the look of this Stanton Tattersall custom carpet, which has a tartan pattern to it, and is full wool with a nice thick memory foam underlay to absorb the sound reflections, as the living room is directly below the theatre. Brian tells me this is one of his favourite features of the room, so if you agree, why not comment down below and smash the like button to show your support. Like many of the decorative elements in the room, the acoustic panels were purchased off of Etsy, and Brian has them placed at the key reflection points, including the ceiling. There is a good mix of absorption and absorption diffusion panels, which makes the room sound great. Another big ticket purchase for the room is the custom diffuser that was handmade for Brian, and I love the way that the light bounces off it with the various lighting effects. Brian designed the AV rack to be concealed and quiet, but also accessible from the front and the back, with a hidden removable acoustic panel over the front of the rack. The rack is a Middle Atlantic pullout and rotating rack, and the opening was cut to the exact specifications once Brian had access to the home, and he knew which rack he was going to install. There is a Middle Atlantic duct cool vent at the top, which sucks out the hot air and recirculates it back into the home. Brian hasn't decided on a smart remote yet, but decided to add an IR repeater at the middle top of his screen, which feeds back to his rack so that he controls all of his AV gear without having to remove the acoustic panel. Taking a look at the gear inside the rack, we have a Netgear 16 port gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch for connectivity. We then have the Apple TV 4K running in Fuse 7 for his media server, which is sitting on the Synology 4Bay NAS, which is a disk station DS920 plus, and it has two Seagate Ironwolf 8TB NAS drives in there for his physical media rips. The brains of the theater is the Anthem MRX 1140, which is a 15.2 channel receiver with all channels driven. It's a fantastic receiver which performs really well for Brian in his room. Next we have the Bells and Wilkins SA1000 for his two passive subs, and a Parasound 275V2 amp for the bass transducers which are under the seats. We then have a Wattbox WV700 IPV which is a 12 outlet power conditioner with network control. For the screen, we have an SI 130-inch Cinemascope 2.4021, which is a Zero Edge Pro fixed with Slate 1.2, which is acoustically transparent so that the speakers can sit behind it. Brian chose this screen under advice of a local supplier and dealer he worked with to buy all of the gear for his build as it suited his needs, and it is the perfect size and aspect for his room. Brian tells me the image looks so good that it's often mistaken for a high-end television. Brian chose the Sony VPL VW715ES native 4K projector over the JVC NX7 after demoing both and he ended up with the Sony as it suited his budget a little better. Brian loves the image it produces and it's been calibrated to his room, so it looks sensational. Let's take a look at some of the demos so that you can judge it for yourself.
Moving along to the speakers, we have an all Bowers and Wilkins setup in a 7.2.4 configuration. Everything was built to measure for the subwoofers and for the speakers to sit perfectly behind the screen. For the front, left, center, and right, we have the Bowers and Wilkins CWM 73S2s, which are a premium in-wall speaker perfect for concealed installations. There are three installed at the optimal positions for Dolby specifications, and they are a three-way speaker which have a carbon dome tweeter and two six-inch drivers for the bass and the mid-range. The speakers are quite hefty, weighing in at 12.4 kilograms and have a sensitivity rating of 90 decibels. For the surrounds and the surround back speakers, Brian chose the Bowers & Wilkins in-wall CWM 75S2 surrounds, which are matched to the front LCR speakers for a consistency throughout the system. They also feature a 1-inch carbon dome tweeter and have a single 5-inch bass mid driver designed to complement the front speakers and create an immersive sound field in the room. The speaker covers have been painted to match the wall color and hide in plain sight. The overhead effect speakers are the Bowers & Wilkins Ceiling CCM 75S2s and have been placed at the optimal positions for Dolby Atmos. These speakers are also in the same series as the rest of the bed channel speakers and match perfectly. They have the covers on and are painted to hide away to blend into the ceiling. The subwoofers are Bowers & Wilkins CTSW12s which are a 12 inch house in the front cabinet that Brian built and have openings covered with speaker cloth to allow the sound to pass through. All of these speakers are part of the custom range from B&W and are nice and stealthy and their subwoofers also have the matching B&W amplifier as shown earlier. Brian has them thumping in his room and they provide a nice tactile impact to the seated position. The Bowers & Wilkins Custom Theatre range is a premium range of speakers that perfectly match the stealthy and impressive design of the room, designed to be heard and not seen. Like many of you, Brian is a DIYer. He spent a lot of time researching how to automate his theatre experience with smart home devices. Govi LED strips give the lobby, floor, theater ceiling, screen, and soundstage a beautiful ambient glow. Govi LED bulbs were added to the recess lights and controlled through Google's assistant voice commands with custom scenes for intermissions, movie watching, and room themes to match his family's favorite sporting team. Brian wanted to create an escape where he and his family could retreat and relax. Automated blockout shades allow Brian to control every aspect of the lighting, no matter what time it is. The sleek fingerprint ultralock by Utec provides some peace of mind and gives each of the family members their own access. The theater's lighting and controls can even change based on who enters. The glass panel smart switches by EOT continue the modern look that Brian wanted. A Google Nest temperature sensor, Light sensing air purifier and dehumidifier keep the theater comfortable. A nice final touch is the Pura Smart Diffuser with hand-picked fragrances that complete the ambience. Well guys, what did you think of Brian's room? Why not show some love and smash the like button for him? Brian spent a lot of time and effort to make the perfect home theater, and I want to say that this is one of the nicest looking rooms that I've had the pleasure of making into a video. If you're interested in any of the things mentioned down in the video, I'll have links to everything down in the description. And if you have any questions for Brian or myself, let me know down in the comments section. I'll have more room tours coming very soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see them. Anyway guys, a very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one, you'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.